and this is the next topic in uh, mathematical tools of quantum mechanics so uh, maybe right now we are discussing uh, some operators unitary operator the projection operator right so unitary operator projection operator and hermitian operator so it's a joint operators computer to algebra all these things can discuss and uh, eigenvalue equation also so here i'm going to discuss one important topic this one uh, unitary transformations so this is new topic so let us try to understand what is unitary transformation so before going into explain unitary transformation i need to discuss uh, again eigenvalue equation so i want to discuss a is the operator and psi of x is there this is cat vector okay so if an operator a is applying on wave function it gives the same wave function and multiply by some constant value okay this type of equations we can call especially in quantum mechanics eigenvalue equations here a is a operator e state vector the eigen function so remember we know we already discussed these vectors um, pi of x and uh, psi of x these are all belongs to helbert space right and here the constant value this is the eigen value or we can call in physics energy values eigen value or energy value of the system okay so this type of equations we are calling eigen value equation right so remember this for eigen eigen value equation so in case if i apply operator a a on the same wave function in case if i cannot get the same wave function for example if i get here some pi of x and multiply by some constant value beta so this type of equations sometimes we can call uh, these equations are the transformation equations okay so this is what we are going to discuss uh, in this topic so let us take the unitary operator so which we already discussed in the unitary operator and the projection operator here so unitary operator when we a, a is a for example a linear operator is said to be the unitary if its inverse is equal to its adjoint of this operator then we can call unitary operator here i am taking some unitary operator okay 
ओके सो लेट अस टेक टू स्टेट्स फॉर एग्जांपल सो दिस इज फॉर एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ हाइगन वैली इक्वेशन so i'm going to continue here the unitary transformation so this is the introduction of this uh, unitary transformation and uh, okay let's start with our argument unitary transformation so this state vector get psi is there and uh, Raw vector also there. Uh, just wait. I can write like this in words. Hmm. Okay. Uh, state vectors. Get vector. And raw vector. transforms as for okay if you apply an operator u on this get vector then we can get another state of another state of function that is get prime or in case if you apply u dagger u unity operator u this dagger applying on this get function then the function change like this bra vector and its transformation so these are the transformations rule this is how the operators change the state vector from one position to another position so if you apply an operator on a wave function it will change into another form of the wave function that is the this operator work so if this operator acting on this uh, um, vector or state vector will transfer this state vector into another form of vector this type of transformations call here the unitary transformation because uh, we are using here the unitary uh, transformation rules and regulations okay so let us now find out how operators transforms under unitary transformation so this is very important so for example an operator a is there here i'm going to apply this operator on this quantum state then this operator operator a you change this state vector into the another form of vector that is pi so let us take another operator here operator a prime this way one minute Okay.
let us take here uh, a operator a it is prime another uh, type of operator i am going to apply this operator on this uh, uh, psi prime get vector okay i can get here the pi prime so we know the two transformation the rules one is pi wave function psi prime equal to unitary operator operator u and this one wave function another transformation we know the wave function pi prime equal to u vector and pi okay try to remember this thing so now i'm going to write this one a prime u operator u is applying on this wave function then we can get operator u and pi so next a prime here i'm going to avoid to write this cap so u is the operator and function that equal to so what is this value u is applying on this i function so u a i so we know right see here in place of this state vector i am going to replace these things then i can get this equation a prime u is operator that is equal to u and a so u is the unitary transformation operator then i got this equation this is equation number one. So multiply this uh, equation number one both sides by multiplying equation number one both sides. u dagger from left side of the equation equation number one so u dagger a prime u equal to u dagger a sorry u dagger and here u is there right u and a we know u dagger u equal to i right in a trim matrix then a prime u equal to a so this one is i In the similar fashion, I am going to apply u dagger from right side of equation number one. I am going to multiply 
you dagger from right side of equation number so a prime u and u dagger after applying this dagger u a u dagger so according to unitary operator definition this one is one i mean unitary matrix i a prime equal to u a u dagger so these are the transformation conditions of the operators here a is there here the a prime is there after applying transform motion for example two frames are there two reference frames uh, this is x x y z this is one frame this is the another frame x prime y prime z prime these are the transformation rules in quantum network okay so it is better to write uh, all this transformation relation in one tabular form one is by psi prime equal to u this is first one and uh, second one psi prime equal to psi u dagger and uh, a prime equal to u a u dagger so these are all the next one this is one equation we try to remember this equation next one by u dagger psi prime wave function psi psi prime u comma a equal to u dagger a prime u this is another set of uh, equation transformation equations so the properties of a uh, unitary transformations so for example first property if an operator a is hermitian its transform a prime also hermitian if an operator A is Hermitian. It's A prime also Hermitian. a prime is a and i am going to apply this a dagger a prime dagger so we know a prime value a prime is equal to u a u dagger uh, first you need to try to write this a prime value u a u dagger and whole dagger so then what we can observe here this one is u so we know a dagger whole dagger is equal to, we know this property right a dagger whole dagger equal to a uh, hermitian operator properties 
So therefore, this is the U after applying this diagonal, this is diagonal, which means this is cat vector, this is bra vector. If you apply diagonal, whole diagonal, right, this cat vector change to bra vector, a diagonal equal to j, right, which is why I got here u, and this is u diagonal, it will change here. So this is vector to after applying dagger it will change here and this will change here this position cut into bra bra into cut vector right so u diagonal whole diagonal equal to a this is a this is u diagonal okay so then so we can say this one here yep, right? So if an operator A is Hermitian and it's uh, transformed A prime also a Hermitian. Next, next important property. Operators equations remains unchanged in forms. operators remain unchanged in forms so these forms cannot change the uh, equations next one the eigen values of operator and its Transform so this same the eigen value of a and uh, it's transformed a prime. A prime or the same eigenvalues. So here I'm going to try to explain this thing. If you apply A on this nth state of a function, then we can get A in value, right? This eigenvalue equation. Then if you apply the A prime of the same energy state. Of the system, then we can get the same energy values. So there is no change. So I'm um, since this one I'm going to explain like this. A prime is applying on the nth state of the system. This is also a psi n prime. So we know the a prime value okay so u a u dagger and this one is the in case if you apply u on this nth function what do you get u a this one is u dagger u and this one is psi n so this is unitary i then u a wave function n that equal to so u unitary operator is there if a is applying on this function so we got a n psi n value right so we can write this equation like this u u n according to transformation rules this one is psi n prime a n when is psi n 
time there is no change in the eigen values equation so the eigen values of uh, operator a and its transformations are the same okay this is the proof so next important point is the fourth point expectation value remains unchanged in a unitary transformation okay expectation value remains unchanged in unitary transformation next fifth one the normalization is preserved in a such transformation. These are all properties of uh, inner transformations, so very important these ones. Preserved in the such unitary transformations. Next sixth one. A prime B prime is there. You apply the commutator algebra commutator bracket. Good A and B. So here I'm going to try to prove this thing. Proof of this equation so if you apply a prime and b prime a prime b prime equal to we know a prime b prime minus b prime a prime so a prime i know u a u dagger b prime is u B U dagger minus B prime is U B U dagger and uh, A prime is U A U dagger transformations unitary transformations and these two are unitary these two are unitary then you can write A A B U dagger minus U B a u dagger so if you try to write like this after getting this equation okay a comma b into u dagger we can write this a b minus b a into a into b right commutative brackets then for example if a and b are complex number if a and b are complex number which means a b equal to a if if a b equal to a complex number then you can write this one here a u dagger then you can try to write like this u this one is a then then what is a a is a comma b right so this is the proof so that's it these are all the transformation equations okay 
So here I try to explain these uh, unitary transformation relations. In case if you get any doubt, um, please comment below. Then I can try to answer if I know the answer.